Today on Ham Radio Q&A, the West Mountain Radio's Powergate PG40S. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. Thanks for joining me on these little amateur radio adventures. Well, this last weekend, I was down at the South Milwaukee Swap Fest. It's a classic tailgate-style ham fest located in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. I had my table up selling antennas. Um, I also spent a lot of time chatting with uh, fellow hams and um, recognizing a few faces. Well, a few faces recognize me from this YouTube channel, so thanks a lot for uh, subscribing and uh, watching the videos, greatly appreciated. Uh, one of the items I picked up last week uh, was over at uh, West Mountain Radio, had a, had a tent uh, set up, and they were selling um, these uh, power gates, uh, the PG40S. Um, and I'm hoping that this device is gonna solve a little problem I've always had with uh, charging batteries. So uh, let's take a look at the PG40S and talk about uh, lead acid deep cycle batteries and how to charge them. So today I'm gonna talk about batteries and, uh, and, how to, and charging them. And over the years I've used a wide variety of different batteries, uh, flooded wet cell uh, marine batteries, uh, lead acid batteries, and now I'm kind of, I'm moving towards the um, absorptive glass mat uh, sealed lead acid uh, style batteries. Uh, I think these are the, you know, they're more expensive, but um, they have a, a quite a few advantages that we'll probably talk about in a, in a future video. Uh, but charging has always been a problem. So when I start out, you know, the first charger I got um, for my station was one of these little one and a half amp uh, maintainer chargers. You find these in boats, you know, to keep the marine batteries uh, charged up in boats. And it works fine for uh, that application. Uh, kind of so-so for the amateur radio application because, like I said, it's you know one and a half amp. So um, if you use your station sporadically, it, it keeps up, it keeps the charge plenty fine. But with heavy use, you know, it, it, it certainly lags. Uh, so then I, I moved to uh, the more um, a familiar uh, smart charger here, and this works with a wide variety of, of batteries, including uh, the lead acid flooded batteries. Uh, sealed gel cells, um, AGM style batteries. It has a selector there so it can give you different charge rates and charge times and um, works great as a charger um, but, but does not work very well as a maintainer. So um, charging the batteries works just fine um, but um, to keep your batteries maintained uh, not so much. So um, that's why um, when I saw the West Mountain Radio's PG40S uh, for sale over at West Mountain Radio. I said, hey, you know, this is, I've always been looking for this product and the price is right since it was a ham fest. So I uh, picked it up and um, I think this is going to solve these problems. Uh, what it does is it is, all, it is a battery charger, it is an uninterruptible power supply, and it's also a battery maintainer. It uh, works on a wide variety of batteries, uh, sealed lead acid batteries, uh, AGM batteries, um, the only thing um, the manufacturer doesn't recommend using it for is the flooded wet cell marine batteries. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, um, if you're using a gel cell or a sealed battery, you know, this is going to be a perfect device to keep it charged. Uh, various different charge rates. Uh, you adjust these little fuses on the front panel and you can pick a charge rate between 1, 4, 7, or 10 amps. Um, three little indicator lights on the front, uh, power light, a peak charge light, so it, it, it kind of goes into a fast charge mode, and then a floating charge light um, for when it's charting, starting the charge cycle and uh, ending the charge cycle. So uh, once your battery's peak charged, it's going to go into maintainer mode. And then uh, three little connectors on there. Uh, one is to connect your station power supply. Uh, the power out to your uh, distribution uh, block or the radio, and then also um, the power uh, connector that runs to the battery. Everything's got Anderson power poles on it, so it's very con very convenient and easy to pick up, uh, pick up especially if you've uh, switched to power poles in your station uh, like I have with all of my batteries and radio equipment. So enough about this unit. Uh, let's uh, put it on the bench and take a little bit deeper look at it. I'm going to take you through the uh, front panel here on the West Mountain Radio's Powergate PG40S. Uh, just from left to right, 
Uh, these two are fuses, 40 amp fuses, and they're used to control the charge rate for the, uh, for the unit here. Depending on how the fuses are configured, uh, if, it's, if there's no fuses at all, it's going to have a 1 amp charge rate. If both fuses are in, then it's a 10 amp charge rate, and then um, with alternating fuses in and out, you have either 4 and 7 amps. Uh, there's three uh, power pole connectors here. Uh, the first one is for power supply. This connects to your station power supply, 13.8 volt for charging. Uh, the next one is out. So this would go to directly to your radio or to a um, rig runner or other type of power distribution block. And then the third one is battery. Uh, this one would go to the battery uh, for charging, charging the battery unit. And then finally, uh, there's three indicator lights. An on light, uh, if there's power in power running to the unit, a peak charge light, and the um, floating charge light. Uh, typically, when the system is running, it's going to use the float charge uh, when the battery is at a low charge state, and then at the end of the charge when it is at a high charge state. And then the peak charge is going to kick in uh, when the battery voltage is kind of in that in that between level. So it starts out with a floating charge and then ramps up and then it ramps up to peak charge to provide more power until it gets to its uh, floating voltage and then drops back down to a float charge. So the power gate actually works as both a uh, battery charger and a battery maintainer. So you can leave the batteries on this unit all the time. This unit is great for charging those these uh, small a gel cell batteries as if you pull both of those fuses out it's going to do a low amperage uh, trickle charge which is perfect for these um, gel cells that are under 12 amp hours if you use a larger a smart charger on them they, they just don't charge right uh, but you know it really shines when you bring in the uh, larger uh, EGM style batteries so this is a 33 amp hour battery, so we can use our high charge rate to keep both of the fuses in. Uh, I'm going to connect the power. Actually, first I'm going to check the voltage. It's at a float charge of 12.5 uh, volts, which is typical. I'm going to connect my leads here. And then finally to the battery. Float light is of course on. Uh, the battery's charging. If I check my voltage again, see we're at 13.25 right now. So it is the battery is getting power. It will uh, continue to charge until it gets up to 13.5 volts. And then the power gate's just going to stay in that maintainer mode. Now, in using this system, uh, there's two ways in which you can configure uh, your station. Uh, you can run the station power out through the out connectors here, and then the power gate becomes an uninterruptible power supply. Uh, what that means is that um, you're always going to be using station power until station power fails, and then it will switch over automatically to battery power, and that will be controlled by the power gate. Uh, your second option is instead of using the out here is to connect your um, radio equipment or your distribution block um, to the battery itself so the power gate is charging the battery and then the station is always running off the battery and then uh, you're at a hundred and then you're always um, exercising the battery uh, using that as your, um, uh, your, st your station power Again, you can, they can be configured both ways, as an uninterruptible power supply or as a 100% battery operation with um, charging in the background. So the West Mountain Radio's uh, PowerGate PG40S is a great addition to uh, your, your station's uh, power needs, especially if you're planning to run a battery power or portable power, backup power on, on your station. You can switch between um, an uninterruptible power supply uh, you can use it as a battery charger, a battery maintainer to keep the, the batteries up to, up to full charge. 
Uh, maybe use it in line with uh, solar panels. I'm thinking I'm mounting this on a box for my for my portable power uh, needs, and use and and combining this with with possibly a solar panel for um, charging, and then also uh, power power distribution switching between the battery and and a, a more conventional power supply. The item retails. Uh, for $140, you can find it on a, a major retailers online at westmountainradio.com. Uh, the other the other amateur radio retailers have this item also. Uh, so while not while not necessarily inexpensive, you know I, I think it's a I think it's a good addition to your station. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, links and resources uh, to the PG40S are available uh, in, the, in the video description below. And as always, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified when uh, future videos are produced. Thanks again for watching. I'm your host, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day and 73.